roof vent painting the sequel. <laughs> Lesson learned, I hope. I didn't seem to have that problem uh, with this uh, with this part of the fan because this ring is metal, so this seems to be fine. So I'm not I'm not going to bother with this. Let it dry and tomorrow should be good to install and uh, then the cover should have at least two or three coats on it on them and uh, should be good to go it's a beautiful day today it's sunny as you can see uh, in the 70s maybe a slight chance of rain today so first order of business today was to build this uh, makeshift ladder So these things are ready to go. I gave them uh, three or four coats of paint last night and it feels really nice. No peeling paint anywhere. This is the trim for the inside of the van, okay? You can use this rim to draw the circle um, that you're gonna cut off. And I believe that this is enough distance. <clears throat> but now that I'm talking about it, I'm not sure. I just don't wanna drill through here and then find out that I'm too close to my wall so actually what I'm gonna do I'm gonna see how far away I'm at. let's see I'm three inches away from that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this I'm right in the middle Maybe I'll go another half inch. Okay. And I'm right at three and a half inches. And I think I'm happy with three and a half. Now, make sure I'm centered between these two ridges. And I am. Hold this down. And draw. Okay, so I wasn't too happy with this thing. It wasn't working too well. Okay, so I ended up drawing it into a piece of cardboard that I'm gonna use to trace, because I can see better and I can trace better with this thing. Uh, I tried uh, tracing this into the cardboard, but for some reason, you can see this moves a little bit. and It wasn't giving me a, a nice circle, so I used a compass to trace the circle that I want it. Okay. So 
now I can see a lot better okay and I can uh, hopefully trace a nice circle There you go, much better. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill four holes, one in each corner, so I can go down uh, from the inside and cut the plywood and remove the insulation. Only because when I go to cut this with my jigsaw, uh, the jigsaw, the, the saw tends to bend a little bit. So even though up here I could be cutting it right on the line, uh, on the inside, on the plywood, I could be cutting in all kinds of different ways. So I want to drill here, then go inside, trace those holes, and cut the plywood, remove the plywood, remove the insulation, then come up here and finish with the jigsaw. I'm gonna use the center punch to uh, punch a couple holes in here so uh, my drill doesn't run away from me. As one. And I'm using my drill bit to make sure that the outside of the bit is on the line and the point is somewhere on the inside and then I push down creating a little point where I can set my center punch Something you, you may want to do is uh, use some tape. I got this uh, painter's tape and tape the ceiling to prevent uh, splitting, splitting when you drill through the wood. I meant to do that on that side, but I forgot uh, and it split a little bit. It's no big deal because it's going to be on the inside where it's going to be cut off. And then the ring that uh, the trim ring um, overlaps the holes by I don't know an inch or so, so there would any any split there would be covered, but you don't want to risk it. So just use some painter's tape, and you should be fine. Another thing I'm doing here is creating a bathtub with tape. Of course the first one doesn't work. There you go. So I'm going to be drilling right here and I'm going to put the tape up here. What I'm trying to accomplish here is keeping the metal shavings concentrated in this area so I don't have these shavings all over the van because when I did the fantastic vent I had that happen, they went all over the place, and because the caulking was still fresh, I couldn't really wash the van. I didn't want to wash the van, so I had 
some little particles of uh, metal rust and once they start rusting it's a pain to keep clean or to clean off the van. So I'm uh, slipping off the ladder a little bit and my hand slipped and I got a little boo-boo over here. That's alright. As you can see, I drilled right through. I think the tape helped a little bit. I missed one there just by a quarter of an inch oh well but it didn't split so it's fine so i'm going to remove that tape and i'm going to draw a circle and cut the plywood venting okay roof vent painting part two <laughs> uh. roof vent painting continues roof vent painting <laughs> 